Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. So this is an unboxing slash haul video because I know what's in the box. It's not a mystery box like I do some on this. Well, mainly just Fright Crate now and the Snacku box. But um, I ordered these uh, four Blu-rays from Diabolic DVD. If people don't know about that, um, it's it's basically a site that they, they bring in Blu-rays and DVDs from a bunch of other um, places that release them like, you know, Arrow and, um, Vinegar Syndrome and I believe they do Vinegar Syndrome, not hundred percent, but I know they definitely do Arrow. They do like Scream Factory. So they basically take from a bunch of, uh, companies that release films, um, and you know, they put it all on one site and that's what I kind of like. So it's a little bit more expensive than just buying from, the source directly like going to scream factory or something but i appreciate it for its convenience because sometimes it's really hard for me to remember who put out this blu-ray when i'm looking for it so it's much easier to just go to diabolic dvd pay a little bit extra per and get everything you want in one shipment um it's a convenience thing and i like that so this is the second time i've ordered from diabolic and let me just go over what i got if people are interested if you're watching this, you are. I don't. This is. This will be in no particular order. I'm just going to pull them out one by one. So the first one we have is the newest uh, collector's edition Blu-ray of My Bloody Valentine. So I watched actually watched this old classic for the first time back in October. I'd heard a lot of good stuff. I have this long list of uh, horror films that I need to get to. This one had been on it for quite a while, and I was like, oh, I'm going to check it out because it's been too long, and I've heard really great things about it. Fell in love with it. It's amazing, and I've been meaning to get this. So uh, when I was going to place an order, I'm like, I'm going to get that new Blu-ray for uh, My Bloody Valentine. I believe this just came out last year through Scream Factory. Yeah, it's through Scream Factory. So very excited to delve into that one. Very, very excited. Then we have um, one that I've never seen before. I just decided to buy it because I couldn't find it through like Netflix DVD that I use or on any streaming service or anything. And I've heard really good things from a bunch of people. So I'm like, I'm just going to buy it. Plus, it wasn't super expensive. And this one's out by Kino. Um, Rawhead Rex. I've heard this is kind of like low key. People love it. Uh, don't talk about it a ton, but I see it here and there in like horror groups. Um, so I'm very, very interested to check out Rawhead Rex. From what I understand, it's kind of like Rawhead Rex is like a demon, but then he's also, um, it's kind of like a slasher at the same time. So it sounds really interesting and I'm excited to, to give it a go. Um, yeah. The next one is actually a steel book. This is the only steel book I ended up getting because it actually wasn't too expensive on Diabolic DVD. And this is another film that I ended up seeing for the first time last year and fell in love with it. And it's because it was streaming on Shutter, and that is uh, the Slumber Party Massacre. I watched Slumber Party Massacre 2. I, I didn't like it. Like, I know people like that because it's like a bad film, but for me it was so bad that I like couldn't watch it. It was that bad. Actually, I should be showing these up closer because the artwork is really nice. Like, look at how great the artwork on that is. That looks great. I'll go back and show it. Here's from uh, My Bloody Valentine. I love that you can see the reflection in there on the back if you want to see it. And Rawhead Rex. Which, that's actually not the cover that they had a picture of on Diabolic DVD's website. But honestly, I think it looks better than the cover that they had, to be honest. The cover they had looked pretty stupid, to be honest. I was like, eh. And then this one, this one has become, I saw this more than a year ago, maybe about two years ago or so. And this is one of those movies that's so bad, but fun bad. So I was like, I gotta own this. And that's Tourist Trap. I know a lot of people um, know about it now because of Joe Bob Briggs. That is where I saw it for the first time. And... Um, I fell in love with it because it is ridiculous, and that's one of the reasons I'm very, very happy that Joe Bob is doing what he's doing still because it's exposing people to a lot of hidden gems, ones that are actually really good films and ones that are so bad they're good. And, you know, Tourist Trap, if you've seen it, is definitely one of those. If you haven't, oh my gosh, what are you doing? See it now. <laughs> Once I saw it, I was just like, why have I not seen this until now? It was the same thing with when I eventually saw... Um, 
the movie Society by Brian Usna, which I don't own that yet, but I am planning to buy that on Blu-ray at some point. I was going to get it with this shipment because it is available through Diabolic DVD, but the pricing on that one is a lot higher than what I want to pay right now. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I just end up going for it and paying that higher price later when I make another um, purchase uh, with some other stuff, or maybe I'm waiting for it to come down. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, um, very nice smattering of films. I'm doing this for the thumbnail. Looking good. So yeah, uh, I would recommend people go check out Diabolic DVD. That's Diabolic with a K, not a C. So just Google Diabolic DVD. It'll take you there. And like I said, it's awesome because it kind of compiles... Uh, a lot of films from that you would have to go to spe other specific websites for. And um, you just get them all in one place so it's convenient. And you're not paying that much extra, to be honest. It's a few bucks extra, I think, per Blu-ray. It's worth the convenience. So... Thank you so much for checking this out, everyone. I uh, if you if this does well, I'll continue to do these types of like haul unboxings when I end up ordering stuff. But I don't order stuff super often. So, but anyway, put some comments down there. Have you seen any of these films? Your thoughts on them? Um, yeah, especially Rawhead Rex because I haven't watched that yet. The other three I've seen before. So, put some comments down. Do me a quick favor, subscribe. If you like any of my videos, that's your best way to repay me because I don't make money doing this at all. So hit that subscribe for me, please. If you've already subscribed, just hit the thumbs up to let me know you're still watching and you appreciate what I do. But thanks for checking it out. And until next time, keep it brutal.